Welcome back to new exercise. This is a 3D pipe with flange. So let's start to create a 3D model in SOLIDWORKS with the help of this isometric view. Now first we have to create this pipe. Now let's calculate the dimension of this pipe. You will see the vertical distance 340 minus 120 5 and uh, there is a one radius R80 then the vertical horizontal distance 140 plus 60 millimeter and this 15 millimeter it is actually the width of flange the diameter of flange 64 and you will see the hole 45 millimeter so let's do this right plane sketch now I am going to activate line tool and start from here. Make sure this line vertical, click on this line, make sure horizontal. Now first distance, this is going to be 340 minus 125, okay. Apply sketch fillet, radius 80 millimeter and let's apply to this corner say ok cancel now again activate smart dimension now this distance distance from here and this is going to be 140 plus 60 millimeter now exit now here I am going to activate swift boss base feature now here one option called circular profile now see the path already selected now the diameter we have to choose and that is 64 millimeter. One more feature here, thin feature, activate. Now here let me add 64 minus 45 divided by 2. It's 9.5. So here I am going to place 9.5 but see it is moving outward. So simply change the direction inside okay now go to evaluate major and here check outer one and you will see diameter 64 clear select inside one diameter 45 cancel that's it now here let's add flange this flange width 15 90 this pitch and uh, 8 number of holes 15 holes means 4 here 4 on other flange 45 this inside one and this is a hole outer one 120 millimeter and this is the dimension included with this in this case this is excluded a sketch activate circle tool now let me draw here 3 circle the second one make for construction and the third one select inside one convert entity again activate circle and here I am going to place the hole it's smart dimension let's define this all 120 the inner 190 and this is by default 45 you don't need to define and this one going to be 15 activate sketch pattern now here I am going to select let me choose pattern four number of instances here check the box equal spacing point is center point already selected say ok if you see this is not fully defined so do one thing just connect with this go inside and similarly create few important now this is fully defined a sketch extrude now this is included with this so simply reverse the direction and the depth is 15 millimeter and condition keep blind look now let's 
click on this face this sketch now we will do the same thing second one make sure for construction purpose and here let's make one hole okay now select inside one convert entity activate the smart dimension 120 the inner 190 and this radius 15 a diameter 15 circular pattern here choose and here point clear and select this center point 360 degree keep angle equal spacing four number of instances rest keep as it is by default see now try to create some important rela relation so that it will be going to look this is fully defined this sketch extrude now in this case this is going to be outside because this is the outer things out of outside of the direction keep and condition blind 15 millimeter see now let's create this flange now this flange 125 or from top it's to 340 millimeter down then if you're going to create this flange now you will see here this angle 40 degree the corner radius 45 and center to center distance here 165 this is important and width you will also see, see here 20 millimeter then there is one hole you see 24 diameter hole 36 there is one more extruded feature and this is 8 millimeter width and the diameter 36 so let's do this activate plane now select outer face and here choose dimension 340 flip reverse direction say ok activate sketch now let's do few important thing let me create one ok this is for reference purpose now activate line tool and I'm going to start from here, go back to the point and see this is going to be convert into arc. Yes. Now here let me create few important relation. Select this hold shift key, select these two line and third one. Here create relation symmetry. This is important relation. Both the end are tangent. Mirror entities. Now select this all line, here choose mirror about, make sure you selected copy, okay. Now again, let's define few important relation. Now this is going to be 45 millimeter, okay. Now the center distance, directly choose these two. 165 corner radius 45 and I'm going to select these two edges okay now the very important thing the distance now here these ribs at the center of this but the distance given from this end 60 millimeter from end of the flange see this distance so here this width 24 so just divide this by 2 so 60 plus 12 millimeter smart dimension now the center distance from here it's going to 60 plus 12 millimeter that's it and this cor okay this corner we already defined what else balance just check
these joints are tangent. Okay, a smart dimension and the angle. Angle is going to be 40 degree. Look, let me activate hole, cir activate circle and add two holes here. Hold shift key and select both the holes, make relation equal, a smart dimension and these hole diameter 24. Isometric view, extrude and this is going to upper, upper side and the width 20 millimeter keep and condition blind and direction is toward pipe. Okay. Now let's hide this plane. Now at center you will see here 64 width and 20 width is rib. So we have to extrude up to body then this rib if you see this rib this is uh, lies at center 24 millimeter width and uh, this distance 114 millimeter center to center and uh, if you see we will create one more uh, plane 60 millimeter from this end first let me create rib here sketch activate line tool now this is important 64 millimeter is the length and the center distance from here to here this is also again going to be 60 plus 20 12 X root. Now, here I am going to choose up to next. If we choose up to next, next means this is the body going to be next, but here come down. Direction, let us say mid plane. And what is the width? 20. Look. Say okay. Look. Plane. Let me choose this. 60 millimeter. See. Okay. Now here we want to create rib. A sketch. Now let us check where we are actually. Actually we should be like this. Okay. Oh. No, that is better. A sketch and start from this point to here. Now, let me draw one center line. A smart dimension. Now, define the distance from here to center one. If you move cursor over, you will get full length, and that is 140 millimeters. look now you can activate rib tool now look the direction flip side we need thickness one side and this is 24 millimeter look say okay look the rib is going to perfectly fit, hide. Now let me evaluate, measure and this first let me choose width 24 millimeter clear. This one 20 millimeter by default by drawing. Okay. And uh, distance one more distance I will show you clear distance from here to here see 60 millimeter this one okay now again sketch activate circle tool and here let me create two circles 
होल्ड शिफ्ट की नाउ सिलेक्ट बोथ दी सर्कल्स इक्वल स्मार्ट डायमेंशन एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टी सिक्स मिलीमीटर होल्ड शिफ्ट की सिलेक्ट बोथ दी इन साइड सर्कल कन्वर्ट एंटिटी नो नीड टू ड्रॉ एक्सट्रूडेड बॉस बेस एंड हियर कीप एंड कंडीशन ब्लाइंड डेप्थ इज एट मिलीमीटर Direction is perfectly going upside. Look. Now, activate mirror tool. Plane. Right plane. Feature to mirror. I'll choose this rib. You will see the preview. Say yes. Look. Both ribs are created. And if you see. Right click, edit material, steel, ASI one zero two. Apply, close. Look. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.